Hi, this is Pete with Wrap My Spider, and today we're working with a uh, 2020 Can-Am Spider RT, and we are going to show you a quick installation video on how to dry mount uh, one of our new frunk wraps. Uh, this one is called the Panther Bite, and uh, it's available uh, on our website along with uh, other wrap products for the frunk. So this is a full coverage frunk wrap, but it is pre-cut. So you won't have to worry about uh, tucking it uh, or doing excess trimming like in the past models that we've had. This is to try to simplify it uh, based on the shape of the 2020 RT to make things easier for you. So it's a pre-cut, uh, very little to no trimming should be necessary for this application. So uh, let's get started. To start uh, application, um, first thing we want to do, of course, is make sure that our surface is ready to accept uh, our wrap. So, as always, we're using the 70% uh, rubbing alcohol and paper towel off the roll. And uh, we're going to prep the surface, making sure that there's no wax or silicone-based products um, anywhere on the surface where our wrap is going to be installed. So, this particular kit and all the 2020 uh, RT wraps will have the full frunk and then these side panels uh, will come with it as well right here and right here. So we know that our, our uh, frunk is ready to accept the film but uh, if it's in question we always recommend that you do a masking tape test um, which is as simple as sticking the masking tape to the surface of the frunk and then try to pull it up and of course if you get good resistance you know it's ready to accept the film. Um, if it pulls right off and there's no resistance or kind of curls up, then you've got more prep work to do. But we know we're ready. So when you get your kit, it's gonna come in three pieces, the center, the left side, and the right side. So typically this will not have top transfer tape on it, but we will provide you a squeegee that has a felt edge and that's to help prevent um, scratching the surface. So if you order the kit, you're gonna get a squeegee with the felt edge. So in advance, we have taken a piece of masking tape and ran a vertical hinge, so top to bottom, and this is what's gonna hold uh, the frunk wrap in place while we're doing our application, at least one side that is. So for alignment purposes, you're aligning uh, your edges making sure that it fits within. And this hinge is gonna hold it in place, top and bottom. So we do have little relief cuts um, down here on the bottom, and that is to help you with application. If this was a closed hole, it would make it much harder to apply. Um, so no need to worry, because this is a dry mount application. We are using our automotive marine grade wrapping film. Um, which really makes installation uh, quite user-friendly. So position the wrap where you can see your corners are aligned uh, side to side, top to bottom. Um, and sometimes this can take a little bit of maneuvering and finagling to get it exactly where you want it, but you want to take your time in doing this um, as a permanent install because that's going to contribute to a really good looking setup when you're done. So make sure your edges are falling within the panel along the front edge. And for the sake of this video, we're gonna go with that because it's not gonna stay on. Alrighty, so um, a lot of times we'll recommend putting a little piece of tape on the edge just to hold it and to help hold it in place while you're doing your, your installation. So I'm gonna start this install um, installing from the center hinge to the left. Um, and that's just because that's the way I like to, I prefer to go with my installation. I'm gonna move this just a little bit. You wanna try to make sure you have an even gap all the way around the BRP emblem. And that'll help you with alignment too. So that looks pretty decent. I'm going to put a piece of tape up at the top as well. Again, this is just insurance to help hold it in place because um, this particular kit runs edge, edge to edge. 
All right. So once you get it taped in place, um, like we said, we're going to do the hinge method, which means we're going to peel back half of the film, exposing the adhesive, and you can just fold it right back on top of itself, pulling it right across the top. And when you have that exposed, you're going to um, take scissors or a knife and carefully um, eliminate the backing paper. So with this being wrapping film, um, as I mentioned, it is a dry mount install. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our install um, from the center. So you can take the wrap and hold it in the air. It's got, it has like a little bit of a crease here where the paper stops. That's okay. You're going to take your squeegee and work it into place. So I'm running primarily up the paper more than on the film at this point just to, to get it started. So run right up the leading edge of the paper. And you don't forget, being wrapping film, you can kind of let it fall into place. So we're not going to do down here around the emblem yet. We are going to take the film and put some light tension on it and set it in place. And then we're going to take our squeegee and we're going to continue where you've already squeegeed it down, working up and down towards the outsides. Now because, like I said, it's a pre-cut, you, you shouldn't really have to do any trimming with this. Now I'm just slowly working my way to the outsides. Keep in mind, if you want to, you can lift and pick it back up. If you start to get bunches, you can put some tension on it and, and keep working the film into place. By putting, I'm not pulling it up, I'm pulling it towards myself and down almost. And that's just to give it a little bit of tension as you work it into place. Now, uh, on the 20RT, it has like a little, little there's a little uh, dip in the panel which is okay. You're going to take your squeegee, run into the dip, and up over top of it. And give it a little tension. So I'm just slowly kind of going along, giving it a little tension. It's going to fall into place up here at the top. But what you're doing is just slowly working that film into place. And then once you get to your outer edge, you can continue to work it. I don't know if you can see that. Now if you get little teeny tiny little wrinkles, that's okay because heat is going to take those out. We're coming across the film. Good. Now we've got just this little lower section right here to work with. And of course you can, you have the ability to pick it up and give it some tension again. Now, if you get a, a, an actual bunch in the material where it actually bunches, you can carefully pick it up. See how I just kind of pull it up if you want to from here. Uh, if, there, if you still see after you pull the film up a little bunch, you can take a little bit of heat. We'll just demonstrate it, even though I don't have a bunch. But what you would do is if you had a bunch in the material, you would pick the material up. Okay. Take a little bit of heat, warm the film, and then let it cool. Don't put any tension on it, just let it hang there and cool. Wrapping film will allow you to recover it. So it'll actually go back to its original state. So by letting it cool, it goes back right back to its original state. So you can do that if you, if you do have to recover. So I'm just going to gently tack that and we're going to continue to work it into place. I'm going to leave that bottom half open. See there's a little bunch. No problem. Lift. Set it back down. By putting tension on it, it will help you install it without any little bunches in it. So you can do this multiple times. See there's another one. So pick it back up. Put some tension on it, 
squeegee it down. The other way you can get rid of, if you get a little bit of a bunch, is apply some heat to it once it's been squeegeed down. Sometimes you can take the back of your fingernail and push on it too. So we're going to stop there. So we have almost half uh, of the frunk insert installed, so now we can eliminate this tape because we don't need that anymore because now the graphic is going to hold, hold it into place, the adhesive from the graphic, so we're good to go. And we can take off our little insurance tape as well. All right, now we have the other half. So no need to be super concerned when you're installing this. Um, it's, the, the film is pretty user friendly. So we're going to go ahead and take off the remainder. And we're going to give it some tension, set it into place. And then we're going to squeegee from where it's down on the frunk, we're going to start go in the opposite direction. So you can see this, the film is just pushing out. It's not really resisting or bunching or doing, doing anything. So that's the cool thing about using this uh, automotive marine grade wrapping film. It is pretty user friendly. We're going to let that hang. Once you get you know, a little bit to the outsides, you can see where you're going to want to put a little bit of tension on it. You can see how I'm kind of parallel with where we want to squeegee to help put tension on the film. And you can see how it, it just pushes it right out. And this, this video is shot in real time, so I'm not, there's no, no trick camera work here. This is real time. Now you see how it has just a little bit of fingers. You can, you can carefully, probably with a hair dryer and keeping it back if, if you wanted to. This is just another tip by putting a little bit of heat to it when you're squeegeeing. Kind of softens the film, um, encourages it to lay down without, without bunching. You're not going crazy and you're always, you know, keeping it moving. But, uh, Giving it a little bit of heat helps do the same thing to soften it. And you can kind of see how I'm squeegeeing kind of in a chopping motion. And then we just have this top corner up here. Now, you know, depending on how hard you're, you're pulling, which you shouldn't pull that hard, um, if you get a little edge that's, that's over or, you know, um, exceeds your surface area a little bit, you could trim it, but the way we have it made, you shouldn't really have to trim it. All right, so now we've got the majority on. And like I said, we're shooting this in real time. Uh, obviously, I don't, certainly don't expect that you're going to go that fast because you're going to want to really take your time. Um, but this video is primarily to give you some, some tips and tricks. So once we get down to the bottom here, same thing if you want to. You could put a little little tension on it. Uh, the film does stretch, so you don't want to go crazy on how hard you're pulling it. And then we have this section right here. You, you do have the ability to pick it back up because we didn't lay all that down. This is made to be open. Um, so keep that in mind. We did that on purpose because if we had it closed, it would cause you a lot of grief. All right. So if you have just a little bit of fingers and whatnot, you can take a little bit of heat, which we always recommend anyway, put the heat on it, and that will help to lay it out. You can also uh, park the bike in the sun. Um, that will also assist you to, if it's a blazing hot day, maybe not, um, but if it's a somewhat overcast day, probably not a bad idea to do that. So that's the front section of our Panther bite. And we also have these little pointed ones. I want to do this where you can uh, get a feel for the, the 
putting the tip on here. So we pre-cut these two. Um, these points, some of them will have imagery on them, some of them won't. But uh, you can start with the leading edge of the back with this particular piece. And you're going to run it right parallel with that body line. Now, on this design, it, it, does, it just comes as solid black, but there are some of the other designs will have imagery on it that connects. So run it along the, the leading edge like that. And for this, you're going to start in the middle and work your way up and down. Middle, up and down to the outsides. And you can see it's, it, the, the film lays right out when you're working from the middle up and down. Gives you a nice finished look to that frunk. Now, I, I probably would consider this a little bit of an advanced install just because, it, um, as you probably know, the frunk goes a little bit like this and a little bit like this. So it does take a, a little bit of time, but I think if you take your time, um, you're going to have good results. Remember, you can pick the film up and reposition it. So I'm hoping that this, vi that this video uh, proved uh, beneficial to you for a, our dry mount application when it comes to our three-piece frunk wraps for the 2020 Can-Am Spider RT. And this is Pete with Wrap My Spider. If you have questions, feel free to email us at sales at wrapmyspider.com uh, or feel free to give us a ring. Again, the uh, wrap that we installed is called uh, Panther Bite and pretty cool one. And again, this is on the 2020 Can-Am Spider RT. So we certainly appreciate uh, you taking the time to watch our application video. We hope that it proved uh, helpful to you. And thank you very much for watching. Again, this is Pete with WrapMySpider.com.